At last, Wednesday fans can finally breathe a sigh of relief after the record-breaking first season, as Netflix has finally renewed the smash hit fantasy drama for a second season. I think it's safe to say that Netflix Wednesday is a huge success. The fan base for the Addams Family spinoff has greatly increased since its November 23 debut, aided by the fact that Tim Burton, who made his television directing debut on Wednesday, was involved in the project as both a producer and a director. Not to mention how thrilled the audience was when Jenna Ortega's iconic Wednesday Adams costume was first shown on Netflix. There is a lot about Wednesday season 1 episodes that are worth remembering, from Jenna Ortega's portrayal of the lead character to the underlying mystery-filled plot. And since it sets up a potential second season, we know we're going to need mystery is finally solved in Wednesday's season 1 finale, it still creates potential future conflicts for Wednesday Adams. Wednesday follows Jenna Ortega's character, the family's eldest daughter, as she is sent to Nevermore Academy, a school for supernatural outcasts. As Wednesday looks into a murder mystery involving her family and endangering the lives of all outcasts, her gothic nature, deadpan delivery, and homicidal obsessions come in handy. Even though Wednesday Adams exposed Tyler as the Hyde monster, found that Miss Thornhill, aka Laurel Gates, was behind Joseph Crackstone's revival, and ultimately saved Nevermore Academy by putting a stop to these evildoers, the show teases that the enemies she made during her investigation will still cause her problems in the future. After defeating Crackstone, Wednesday and her classmates go on a break after the school year is over. Xavier gives Wednesday her first cell phone before getting in her car so that they can stay in touch. Wednesday gets a text from an unknown number as she is driving home. The message is just a string of emojis with the hint that she has a stalker. It is wordless. To make matters worse, Wednesday receives a gif of herself with a knife in her head as her final text message. That was quite the expectations and is proving to be one of Netflix's most successful originals in its history, let alone for 2022. There were some conflicting rumors that MGM Television might be moving the show to Prime Video, but those turned out to be false and disproved. The second season of the show was officially announced by Netflix on January 6. It makes sense that the Tim Burton sequel will follow a similar timetable given that the Tim Burton Project's six-month filming schedule began on September 2021 and ended in March 2022. We can anticipate Wednesday Season 2 to premiere in early 2024 because filming is most likely to occur later this year and because a sizable portion of post-production will be needed to polish the show's visual effects. Before I tell you more about the cast, I think it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. Since there is a new mystery to solve, Jenna Ortega is a must, and yes, she will be back. Christina Ritchie, Miss Thornhill, could make a possible return, same as Gwendolyn Christie's Larissa Weems. After all, resurrections do occur in this world, and her overall narrative arc did seem to be somewhat condensed. Regarding Hunter Doohan's reemergence as Tyler Galpin, Go responded, Yeah, absolutely, he's out there. That's what we wanted to convey. So expect to see Tyler again, too. Last but not least, Catherine Zeta-Jones and Luis Guzman played Morticia and Gomez Adams, who were Wednesday's parents. While they appeared in Season 1 in supporting roles, Season 2 will give them a bigger role in the show, living up to the expectations of its loyal fans. The Adams Family had lost its relevance in popular culture beyond a few animated films that underwhelmed at the box office, so Season 1 had the advantage of being a surprise hit. The first season's cliffhanger suggested that Netflix has ideas for Season 2 already. Given the show's huge success, it makes sense that Wednesday's already excellent production value will only get better, expanding the possibilities for storylines. There is no end to the story Season 2 could tell thanks to this fantastic cast of characters already in place. Season 2 has already spawned a number of theories on the internet, and Wednesday's writers are aware of what the audience liked and wants to see more of. The Season 2 hints for Wednesday add legitimacy to a theory about Morticia Adams' changing character and her relationship with her daughter. The Adams family members, aside from Wednesday, were mainly recurring or guest characters in Wednesday Season 1, with Fred Armisen making a cameo as Uncle Fester. Morticia continued to play a significant role in her daughter's journey at Nevermore Academy despite Pugsley, Gomez, and Morticia spending the majority of Wednesday Season 1's story in New Jersey. However, this dynamic may change significantly after the tragedies of the season finale. So tell us everything. Since you've abandoned me here, I've been hunted, haunted, the complicated relationship between the mother and daughter will be extensively explored in the eagerly awaited Wednesday Season 2 after Wednesday attempted to escape Morticia's Nevermore legacy, understand their shared psychic abilities, and look into her parents' involvement in the multi-generational murder mystery in Season 1. 
Wednesday season two will focus on the development of Morticia and Wednesday's relationship according to the show's co-creator Al Go, suggesting Zeta Jones might play a bigger part in the subsequent season. The focus of Wednesday and Morticia's relationship in season two suggests that the two will be together much more frequently, which logically could only occur if Morticia was more present at Nevermore Academy. According to the story tease, Morticia Adams will take over as principal of Nevermore and Wednesday Season 2, which will exacerbate their issues by bringing them back together. Given that Principal Larissa Weems tragically passed away in the Season 1 finale on Wednesday, Nevermore needs a new leader, and Morticia Adams would make a suitable replacement. Since Morticia and Larissa Weems were roommates when they were Nevermore students, Morticia becoming the school's principal in Season 2 of Wednesday would also guarantee that a tribute is made to Larissa's memory. Teaching at Nevermore would allow Morticia to restore her reputation in Jericho after Gomez was accused of killing Garrett Gates, in addition to making up for mistakes. What happened? The Adams family can take advantage of this opportunity to repair community rifts and reclaim their control over the direction of the school, while the outcasts at Nevermore Academy recover from Laurel Gates' murderous scheme. Morticia is an ideal candidate to spearhead this effort in Wednesday Season 2. The entire family might relocate with Morticia if she accepts the principal position at Nevermore. The look on Wednesday's face, as she naturally does everything in her power to prevent Pugsley from trying to hang out with her, would be priceless. Season 2 of Wednesday has a number of intriguing storylines in the works, but one of the more urgent ones is the identity of Wednesday's new stalker. Everything at Nevermore seemed to be back to normal after revealing Tyler to be the monster, or at least as normal as things could be at school for outcasts with powers. But right before Wednesday was supposed to leave Nevermore for a break, she started getting texts from an unknown number that seemed to be stalking her. Instead of being terrified, Wednesday seemed intrigued to investigate the new mystery. Wednesday's stalker is unlikely to be Xavier, Enid, Ajax, Eugene, or Bianca, and because of that is an outcast. It's likely that the stalker in Wednesday Season 2 will be a different student, a parent of a student, or a teacher. It's even possible that they haven't even been introduced in the Addams Family series yet. See you in the next video! The point